Hey guys, Amit here from Phone Radar and you're watching the 7th episode of the Phone Radar Report. In this video, we'll be talking initially about the Indian announcements which happened in this week. This week, we saw the launch of Huawei's two smartphones in India, the 6 Plus and the latest flagship smartphone that's the Honor 4X. It's the latest budget flap phablet in the country. These devices are priced at 26,499 and 10,499. First, let's talk about the phablet that's the Honor 6 Plus, which was launched along uh, as a successor to the Honor 6 smartphone. The USP of this smartphone is that it comes with a dual 8 megapixel camera module, which is specially designed and gives you some better captures. We can only know once we have actually started using it. This is a 5.5 inches Full HD display smartphone which comes with a high silicon Kirin 925 octa-core chipset and a 3 GB of RAM. Other notable specs include a 16 GB of internal storage, a micro SD card support and the Emotion 3.0 UI layered over the Android KitKat OS which surely will be getting the lollipop update later on. The availability of the Honor 6 Plus is not yet known. Now talking about the second device that's the Honor 4X, it's a budget phablet competing with the likes of the Redmi Note 4G and the U Eureka. The 4X comes with a 720p display, a Snapdragon 410 chipset which replaces the high silicon chipset on the Chinese unit. Looking at the trend, the 64-bit power processor, the company has made this decision. The notable features of this device includes a 2GB of RAM, 8GB of internal storage, a micro SD card support up to 32GB and a 13 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front camera. All this is powered by 3000 mAh of battery. To purchase this device, you'll have to pre-order the same through Flipkart and the sale is happening on 30th at 2 pm. This is one of those recommended smartphones because at this price point at 10,500 rupees, this is one of the best smartphones and we are going on with the review which you should be going live on Monday. Moving on with the launches in India, Samsung has officially announced its latest flagship smartphones that's the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge in the country and this happened on Monday this week. We were present at the event and brought you some of the interesting stories of this uh, device. The price of S6 and the S6 Edge starts at 49,900 rupees and 58,900 rupees. Both of these devices are comparatively similar in terms of the specifications. Only the difference is that the S6 Edge comes with the dual curve inch, dual edge display. Both of these devices come with a 5.1 inches quad HD display, the Exynos 7420 octa core chipset, 3 GB of RAM, and uh, different internal storage options starting from 32 GB to a 128 GB. Other notable features include a 16 megapixel rear camera, the LED flash, OIS, and the real time HDR feature, while the 5 megapixel front facing camera features a special wide angle lens for wide shots. Though the only difference between these devices are that the S6 Edge has dual curved screen on both the sides of the display. As well as they have different battery ratings, the S6 has 2550 mAh while the S6 Edge has 2600 mAh battery. These devices are going on sale starting April 10th which is the global date and you can pre-order them from Amazon India and Flipkart. These are some of the launches which are happening in the coming weeks and we have received invites for the same. First of them is the Lenovo's latest 64-bit powered smartphone that's the A7000 which is a successor of A6000 launched earlier this year. The Indian pricing of this device is unknown yet but with specs like a 5.5 inches 720p display, a true 8-core MediaCat chipset, a 2GB of RAM and 8GB internal storage, anything around a price of 10,000 would be a good price. The USP of this device according to the company is the Dolby's uh, Atmos technology which offers a better media experience. The phone also comes packed with an 8 megapixel rear camera and a LED flash along with a 5 megapixel front facing camera. All this would be powered by a 2900mAh battery. Another device that is going to launch in India is the Asus Zenfone 2. During its announcement at MWC this year, the company got everyone excited about this device with the 4GB of RAM and some interesting specifications which comes along with uh, aggressive pricing which starts at just 199 US dollars. Asus India is all set to launch this smartphone in India on April 13th and we would be doing a detailed coverage of this device once we get our hands on it. We really hope that the pricing of the Zenfone 2 with the 4GB RAM is rightly priced which features a 5.5 inches 1080p display, a 64-bit Intel processor and the internal storage along with the RAM depends on the different variants of the device. There are two different variants that's a 2GB variant and a 4GB variant as well as there are different processors on uh, from Intel on both of these devices. 
both the variants come packed with a 30 megapixel rear camera with a dual LED flash OIS while there is a 5 megapixel front facing camera for wide angle selfies. Now let's talk about the international announcements which happened this week. ZTE at a press conference in Beijing announced two of its smartphones that's the Nubia Z9 Max and the Z9 Mini. Now the devices are priced at 1499 yuan and 2499 yuan while both of these devices come with different screen sizes but packs the same full HD resolution. The Z9 Max comes with a 5.5 inch display, a Snapdragon 810 chipset, 3GB RAM, 16GB internal storage and a micro SD card slot. Now that's a pretty good uh, smartphone. While the camera on this device is a 16 megapixel rear camera and an 8 megapixel front camera. It will be running on Android Lollipop out of the box. All this is powered by a 2900 mAh of battery. Now the second device which was launched by ZTE was the Z9 Mini which is a 5 inches display. Now I wonder why is a mini smartphone having a 5 inches display. But nonetheless this device comes with a Snapdragon 615 chipset, a 2GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot. The device also packs the same 16 megapixel rear and an 8 megapixel front camera. As well as it comes with the same 2900mAh of battery. Now let's talk about the video of this week. This week we were at the launch event of the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge and we got to test how durable is this smartphone. Now we started with the scratch test and uh, along with which the company had been touting that it comes with the strongest Gorilla Glass 4 on their flagships. That's the reason we dropped the Galaxy S6 from a pretty good height and scratched the S6 Edge display. And to, and to know more what happened with this, you can actually check out the video which you can see on this area and you can check out how good the durability of these smartphones is. So this was the phone Red report for this week, stay tuned for what's happening next week wherein we have some exciting launches happening in the country, starting off with uh, Gioni launching their smartphone that's the S7 in India. Stay tuned for phone data for more videos like this and I hope to see you guys in the next video. This is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.